brain tech here, where tech is made simple. In the Google Chrome web browser on desktop, you may know if you open numerous tabs and start to open a lot of tabs in the browser in the tab strip, that as you can see in this example, the more tabs that are opened, the tabs start to shrink and also the name of the website or the tab will actually start to disappear. Now I know this example is pretty extreme, but just to um, demonstrate for the purposes of this video. And the reason the tabs shrink and the name starts to, to uh, disappear is because there's only a certain amount of space that's available for open tabs in the tab strip in the browser. And as we can see, things can get quite cluttered and the navigation can be quite confusing and complicated. Now in the stable version of uh, Google Chrome, there is a feature that is available um, called tab scrolling. That will help you just to scroll through the open tabs if you have numerous tabs open and also will limit the width of the tabs that are open in the browser. Now tab scrolling um, is not a default feature in the stable version on desktop and um, it's available as an experimental flag uh, in the stable version and also the preview versions of the browser. So you won't be able to get to tab scrolling by heading to your settings and turning the feature on as an option in the settings. It's an experimental flag. So we have to head to the uh, flags page to enable the tab scrolling feature. Now to do this, we just hit, um, navigate to the um, address bar, the Omnibox, and we enter Chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags. And you just type in and enter tab scrolling and that's enough to bring up the relevant flag. Now, as I always mention with the um, experimental flags in the stable version of uh, Google Chrome or any browser for that matter, um, flags are not options. They are experiments. So Google can remove this flag or any flag at any given time. But at this stage, tab scrolling uh, is currently available. So you can use it and try it out. Um, to just make navigating through your open tabs and limiting the width of those open tabs and just make that a whole lot more simpler and less complicated. Now, um, the, uh, the description for the flag says enables tab strip to scroll left and right when full. And we change the default setting to enabled. Yeah, but here you see we don't just have one enabled option. We have a couple of options. So um, we have tab shrink to a pinned tab width, shrink to a medium width, shrink to a large width and don't shrink. So just to demonstrate, I'm going to choose the option shrink to a medium width uh, just to start out with and I'm going to enable that. And then I'm going to relaunch uh, Google Chrome to apply that flag. And yeah, we can see if I just start to open up a couple of extra tabs, you will see those um, navigation buttons for the tab scrolling appear. And now we can navigate through those open tabs as mentioned. And maybe the first choice wasn't the best example because that still looks quite cluttered. But if we go back to the um, the flags page and we just choose another option and this time we go tab shrink to a large width. We re relaunch the browser to apply that flag. Now we can see now things be start becoming a lot more manageable. And I can now start navigating through those tabs as mentioned and that just makes things a whole lot more simpler and less complicated. And then if I go to another option, tabs don't shrink, just to demonstrate, relaunch the browser. And now you'll see that that's the uh, original default size of the tab. And now I can just navigate through those tabs using those navigation buttons. And that just makes things a whole lot less complicated and a, lo a lot um, more simpler to um, and simple to navigate through a whole lot of open tabs that um, you have open in the tab strip in the browser. But as mentioned, this is an experimental flag and at this stage is currently available to try out and test in the stable version of Google Chrome. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.